Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Yes, I have the microphone in my hand because uh, there are some uh, technical difficulties and I can't solve them at this point. So, you have to deal with this. Um, I have an article coming from Russia where it seems like a um, Ukrainian drone was capable of crossing again the border without being inter inter in intercepted by the Russians and it got as close as I think about 150 kilometers from Moscow again. So let's see what this article uh, tells us and I have some maps as well. This article comes from Reuters. It is from March 27th, 2023. Three injured as Russia downs Ukrainian drone south of Moscow. So it destroyed it. Uh, but where it destroyed it, I will show you. That's embarrassing. Russian air defenses halted a Ukrainian drone attack on a Russian town on Sunday in which three people were hurt and apartment blocks were damaged. The Russian defense minister says, what do you mean people were hurt, apartment blocks were damaged and they uh, halted the Ukrainian drone? How in the hell you halted it? Weren't you supposed to halt it before it caused uh, damage? <laughs> I think that would be the best uh, scenario, right? Kiev did not immediately respond to a request for comment. It has previously denied Russian asser assertions that its drones, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, have flown into Russian territory and caused damage to civilian infrastructure. The Defense Ministry statement said all this right here was done by Reuters in order to tell us that the Ukrainians don't kill civilians. Okay, that's all. That's the only reason right here. No, it was not ours, and if, this, if civilians were killed or civilian infrastructure was damaged, it was not us. But uh, you, on the other hand, my dear Russians, you only do that, according to uh, the West uh, and uh, Ukraine. The Defense Ministry statement said the attack on the town of Kireyevsk in Tula region, 220 kilometers, which is 140 miles south of Moscow, involved a Ukrainian 2141 Stries drone. So let's see where this uh, Kireyevsk in Tula region is. So it's right here. No, not that far. So this is Ukraine right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit. This is the border, okay? This is where Moscow is. And this is the border uh, Sumy Oblast, Chernihiv Oblast, and here is uh, Kar Kharkiv Oblast. So the Ukrainian must have launched it from here somewhere. So it flew from here going towards Moscow maybe and it was downed right here that is a town in Tula whatever uh, district this south of Moscow where are you were you traveling you don't have a visa to enter like that but anyway it did so it traveled uh, uh, a big uh, different uh, distance if you look here and if you look down here on the right and if you can see this is the legend right here it tells you uh, 100 kilometers is like uh, how many hands of this? One, two, three, four, five. About five or six. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about 300 kilometers from the uh, from the border. So if you add about 50 at least inside Ukraine, um, but maybe it didn't go straight line. It was about what again for, for about 400 uh, miles uh, kilometers. I'm sorry in side Russia and I'm calling a Polya 21 electronic unit took action against the Ukrainian drone and as a result its navigation system was taken out of action and quote the ministry statement said and I'm quoting again the drone lost its directional command and fell near the town of Kiryevsk in Tula region and quote now it makes sense so they just jammed it and uh, it was, oh, you know, I don't know where I'm going. Tonight I'm going to go and visit my girlfriend instead of going back home to my wife. I guess that's what uh, <laughs> the drone claimed at one point. Now, TASS news agency quoted local officials as saying three people were hurt in the incident, but there were no serious injuries. It, says, it said five private homes were damaged. That was a big freaking drone, I gotta tell you that. The blast, which occurred at around 3.20 p.m., caused a large crater in the heart of Kireyevsk, a local emergency services representative told TASS. Social media videos and pictures showed a muddy crater, crater near a building with its roof and walls heavily damaged. 
Shards of glass from broken windows spread across the stairwell at a nearby apartment block. I saw that one. Reuters could not immediately verify the images. Russia has previously reported drone attacks in several, town, several towns and cities, some of them hundreds of kilometers, miles from its border with Ukraine. Correct. Three Russian air personnel, force personnel died on December 26 when a drone delivered to the to be Ukrainian was shot down at the main base for Russia's strategic bombers near the city of Saratov after flying hundreds of kilometers through Russian airspace. It's true. And this drone that flew over there, I then remember it being shot down, but now I hear it shut down. I thought it just uh, uh, blew the, everything it, uh, it got in contact with. It was a successful uh, attack. And those uh, drones were built by the Soviets in the 1970s and they're like a rocket and um, with a jet engine a jet engine rockets and now they're called drones I guess and um, the Ukrainians I think the Soviets upgraded them and then upgraded them again in 2006 and after that um, obviously they um, they they the Russians claim that the Americans and the Brits more like I think it was the United States, um, were able to put uh, geolocation uh, gear or whatever on them and use their satellites to guide it through uh, the Russian airspace at a very low altitude. I made a few videos on those incidents and I had the articles showing those uh, rockets. They're just regular rockets and uh, with a, um, not regular, it has a little bit of something in the back and with a jet engine so um, I always said that if you uh, bomb my house I'm entitled to bomb your house but then I'm losing the um, the virtue standpoint which I think I'm more virtuous but if I uh, hit you back with what you hit me I can't claim that uh, what you did was bad because I did the same thing to you even if, uh, if even if that was in self-defense but hey what do I know um, well you kind of, uh, you know, like these guys are saying, hey, we, the Russians are using white phosphorus or depleted uranium, whatever shells, and the Russians are using them. That's a bad thing, but, and now they want them. <laughs> and Great Britain said, yeah, we're going to give you the depleted Ukrainian, Ukrainian. every time I make this uh, mistake, uranium uh, shells, and then uh, the Russian says, wait a minute, if you use that, that's a, uh, you know, like a uh, nuclear attack on us, and that will give us the... Um, green light to uh, bomb the out of you and you got guys are saying no 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 you can't do that only we can <laughs> okay yeah because we are equal right so uh, cheers my friend a little beer keep it away from my mouth you don't see me gulping here so interesting um, development again I wonder how those um, I would expect they would be shot down before they even entered the Russian airspace. Uh, you know, they would have been intercepted before they were launched. I mean, not before they were launched, uh, before they entered the airspace, and right away, immediately they were launched. I know they would be because these radars, this um, they have the technology to go. I don't know uh, 50 kilometers inside you know, in United States, inside inside uh, um, Ukraine, and then you see that's coming, you destroy it. But it seems. Uh, they fly low, maybe they're, I, I don't know. It's its still a mystery to me how those drones are uh, able to uh, pass the, the Russians' air defense systems at the border, where is the war, so you expect, but, well, well maybe we'll, uh, we'll find out uh, one day. And I think the answer is uh, the current technology that we are told that everybody possesses is not as they tell us it is when they tell us that they want to give 870 billion dollars um, defense budget in United States for these weasels that, uh, that money goes to bureaucracy they don't go to weapons I covered an article a few days ago no yesterday <coughs> yesterday and uh, it was about uh, the US asking to double their budget because they're like short of ammunition, like 13, 13, one, three years, 13 years uh, short of ammunition. How in the, you are, 
but the same uh, the same uh, trick works i'm going to scare you and you will pay up that's what it is they tell us we, we, we can defend you that's why you have to pay more so we can uh, defend you wait a minute you had so much i thought we are we are defended i should court martial so many people and i would give them exactly what they deserve by law if you know what i mean uh, what do you mean you you, you got all this uh, 870 now that we know of there's also some undisclosed amount that goes to uh, FBI and CIA. So they have the budget, you know, this, but then they have that they do not have to disclose, supposedly, and there's uh, extra. And where is that going? What do you mean? Well, it's special operations. We can't disclose this top secret, blah, blah, blah. You know, your mom is a traitor. We can't disclose how we found out, but we're going <clears> to <throat> uh, arrest her and we're going to find out uh, what happened. But you gotta trust us no i'm not gonna trust you whatsoever i mean if you guys want to trust them that's fine with me but i uh, urge you not to do that you know believe but verify first um i urge you not to even believe anything you just believe okay well let, let, let me figure let, let me look into it remember when you have whenever you have a conversation with someone and someone just drops something don't take it as a valid statement say no i can't take this as a valid statement I'm not aware of it. I'll be back with uh, um, with information after I look into it. So don't accept that as being an argument. No, you just pull it out of your butt and I'm not going to take it right now. Well, if you can say, well, Google it or something or Yahoo it, then yeah, you can do that. And if you find the answer on the spot, that's great. All right. So um, disappointed again, I guess, not I guess. I'm disappointed again with the Russian air defense system. This is systems which tell, tells me that no, it's not really how they say it. Uh, say it is, but you can say, well, they can't cover. I mean, come on, Emil. It's a big front over there. They can't cover all that. Uh, I expect them to cover all that. Because if you think of something like this, I'm just giving you an example. I know it's exaggerated. Imagine an ICBM flying. Okay, ICBM, I'm just saying, I know that's a big one, it's a, can fly maybe this, like that, but if you can detect this one, it's a pretty big, have you seen how a, um, how much a Zircon and a, uh, a Zircon missile is? Did you see how big it is? Not very big, you can have nuclear weapons, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, operate with a nuclear weapon. That could have been, this is a, a hypersonic missile, and the Russians will not even know what's coming. And I didn't see it. Not good. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.